Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2017. We're playing as Arsenal. This is episode 3. In today's episode, we have a Champions League match in the group stage. We are facing Ben Fika at the Emirates. Then we have an away match in the Premier League against Hull. Now, guys, in the last episode, if you haven't gone and watched it, we managed to unfortunately lose 3-2 to Manchester United. We had a very decent comeback, but at the end of the day, it wasn't to be. Anthony Martial Ramsey got up on the score sheet. Then we had an absolute sensational performance at the Emirates against Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. We managed to win 4-0. Yes, 4-0. Koscielny, Theo Walcott scored two, and Oliver Giroud scored the second. Uh, sorry, the fourth. The uh, third. Technically the fourth goal. <laughs> but regardless, we had some matches off camera simply because I don't, I don't want to get too bogged down with the fixtures. I want to get and play the... I want to do the extended highlights uh, I want to do like two extended highlights per episode, and then I'll just play the rest off camera, because it is a little bit time consuming. So we'll play, uh, yes, we're going to be playing against Benfica here today, and Hull. Now he played against West Ham off camera, unfortunately we drew 3-3, Anthony Martial, Lucas Giroud scored. Moving along to the, we played a, a, a it was Cyprus, these are... Uh, this is where the Champions League, uh, this Champions League team is from. Mustafi Ozil Walcott got on the score sheet. We managed to win 1-0 over Southampton. Anthony Martial picking up the goal. And then we had a 6-4 win over middle uh, over uh, Southampton. Yes, a 6-4 victory. Jermaine, Desco Jermaine Defoe scored a hat-trick, three goals. Anthony Martial scored four. Fabregas with... Uh, one goal, Theo Walcott with the other. Koscielny did get sent off, unfortunately. And then we had a 4-1 victory over Middlesbrough. Anthony Martial, Ozil, Lucas and Sanchez getting up on the score sheet. So, in today's episode against Benfica, we're going to be playing the 4-4-2. I'm going to lead the line with Martial and Lucas. Martial is getting a lot more proficient at being proficient at being a complete forward. Uh, Sanchez can do quite well. We've got Ozil making the plays pushing forwards. Xhaka is going to be pushing back. Walcott has been playing very well for me. Gibbs, Kashani, Mustafi, Hector Bellerin. We have Ospina, Giroud, Fabregas, Inept, Oxlade Chamberlain, Rob Holding, Ramsey, Awobi, El Nenny, and Coquelin. Jenkins is nearly coming back from his injury. Three days. Mertesacker is going to be back in two to three months. Gabriel Palista in two days. And Danny Welbeck in three to four months. It is currently the 27th of September. The August transfer deadline day has slammed shut. I will go through the transfers uh, for myself. And I guess we can do the other clubs. But I, I feel like compared to previous football managers, especially in Football Manager 2016, clubs would just splash cash left, right, and center. They would spend so they would nearly spend the entirety of their budget on players which is the right thing to do, I kind of think. Um, but yeah, no one spent anywhere near as much money as I had. So I've got no money at the moment, which is unfortunate. Uh, Koscielny is the captain, Urza is the vice, Sanchez is the key player. I love the kits just here. Uh, transfer history, we brought in Cesc Fabregas for 18.5, he's worth 30. What an absolute bargain I thought that is. Inept for 6 million, he's worth nearly 9. Anthony Martial uh, is currently worth 38, you picked him up to 64. Getting off a direct rival, weakening Manchester United, he definitely will be worth 65 million someday. He has the potential, in my opinion, to be the next Thierry Henry at Arsenal. Transfers wise, there's still a couple of players transfer listed. Funnily enough, my god, Chelsea got an absolute bargain uh, for Danilo. They played like 5 million for him. Yes, I said that he was an absolute bargain. At the moment, my team report weaknesses uh, 9 out of 17 assists conceded came from crosses. So that's not the best. Um, could do more than just Kieran Gibbs at left back. That's not overly too much of a weakness, that's just a general defense. Transfer budget, zero, no flexibility in the transfer market. I, I guess I wouldn't really... Say, like, there could be so many more damning weaknesses. Uh, balance, right, Peter check, right. It might be worth paying attention to... Blah, 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 blah. So, my weaknesses aren't actually too bad. Just checking out my strengths there, here, though. Holy shit. 
under-19s competition. So let's have a look at the Premier League. Chelsea's currently first, followed by Manchester United, myself third with Arsenal, Crystal Palace fourth, Everton fifth. We're going to be versing Hull, who haven't won a match. They've lost six straight matches. Hopefully we can batter them here and say, oh, is that actually not in the Premier League? No, it is in the Premier League, because I just noticed we had a cup match against them. I thought, oh, bugger, is, is, is it actually in the uh, the Premier League? No, it is. Now, where was I going to? Competitions. Let's have a look at the players' stats. Zaza for West Ham is the top goal scorer, followed by one Mata, Diego Costa, Lucas, our Lucas in fourth, Anthony Martial's drawing in fourth as well, Perea with the assists, Walcott has the most distance travelled, by a fair bit as well. Only s wow, that's nuts. So the only other player is Lamela. My God, Sanchez and Walcott are just playing so so well with that just high acceleration on the left and right. Mustafi has the most tackles. We've done well. We've got a lot of players up here. Team goals: Giroud sixteen. Now, where do I actually look for the transfers for everyone? Okay, I think I might just cut it here. I'll try and find the transfers. I, I should have got it up beforehand. I learned how to find it. Because I want to see what um, all the Premier League sides, who they brought in and out. So, I'll quickly cut it here. I'll go find it, and I'll see you guys in a second. Hey, guys. Welcome back. I found out how to find the transfers and uh, the ins and outs. So, this is sort of a little bit of a tutorial, I guess, for people that are new to Football Manager. Because at the end of the day, I am still very new, new to Football Manager. I've only played Football Manager 2016, now 17. Funnily enough, this is actually my fourth career, only my fourth. So I played as Real Madrid, Manchester United, and Leicester in 2016. Now I'm playing as Arsenal in 2017. So I guess this is a little bit of a, a blind let's play. So we need to go to the Premier League here. We need to go to transfers. And let's sort by fee, actually. Okay, so uh, Lorenzo joined Liverpool. Johnny joined United. Wait, hang on, I want to get Johnny. Where is he? Yeah, 22-year-old right back for Spaniard from Celta Vigo. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Danilo signed for Chelsea for 5.5. I said this is this is one of the best ways to make money in Football Manager. Sign players who are up on the transfer list. So they signed him for 5.5. He is rocketed up to 17 million pounds. You can make a really nice profit on him. I should have tried so signed him, but the thing is, right. I just spent all my money. I didn't have enough money, which is unfortunate. Uh, anything else here? Debushi. Me Felipe Mexes. 34 Frenchman to Everton. Really? Memphis Depay went on loan to Real Sociedad. I tried to actually pick him up. I did put in a bid for like 15 million to try and get Memphis because he was put up on the transfer list. Um, but unfortunately, they rejected because I'm a rival club, and he's gone on loan to Real Sociedad. But you're most welcome to pause here. I can't wait until we get to November, December, and then some Premier League managers will get sacked. The only movements are Arsene Wenger's gone to the director of football, and now I'm obviously the new manager at Arsenal. I remember in, like, Football Manager 2017, sorry, 16, Pep Guardiola would always be brought in to... Um, Manchester City. I swear he got sacked all the time, which was just so weird saying that. So we're going to play the 4-4-2 into, the, into today's episode against Benfica. Um, actually, before I do that, let's have a look at uh, where are we sort of looking. Here, let's go home and have a look at the squad in all competitions. So Anthony Martial scored six, uh, uh, sorry, eight goals. Theo Walcott is the highest rated player. He's been playing so well for me. Giroud has five assists. Xhaka has 89 percent passes. Walcott has three man of the matches. Mustafi with four yellows. Laurent Koscielny with one red card. Um, we've still got Bab Gabriel Palista, Carl Jenkins out. Tarat, he was on the transfer list. He was 27 years of age, one million. He's probably actually not a bad rotational player to bring in. Premier League proven at least. They have a couple of players out here. But you're most welcome to pause and have a look at this stuff. Let's get stuck into Benfica here today. It should be a good one in the Champions League. So it looks like Manchester City are playing Barca. This is taking a little bit to load up for some reason. The teams are warming up. Please wait. Um, Borussia Mönchengladbach, or a German team. <laughs> 
<laughs> that meme so funny. Um, Olympic Lyon, Atletico Madrid, Mon- uh, Moscow, Club, Bru- Club Brugge are playing Roma. So Benfica are playing a four-two-one, a four-two-one-three wide. Okay, Jonas leading line. He's a very good striker, even though he is thirty. Two years of age. Who have they got on the left? Rafa Silva. He's very good as well. Carrillo. I think his contract expires in January. Edison and goal. They have a they have a couple of really good players. Benfica. Selvio. This guy's good. The right back Nelson. Mitroglu, the former Fulham man. Who else have they got? Zigovic, the Dutchman from Ajax. No, different Zigovic. Oh, I thought this was oh, okay. This is the Serbian. I thought there was the Zig. Uh, there's another. There's another Zigovic. I'm positive. I want to prove a point here. Uh, I guess he plays for Utrecht. Yeah, this is uh, this is who I thought they had. Zigovic plays for Ajax. Yeah, this guy's good. Twenty years of age. To be fair, the other guy might be all right as well. And they have Julius Cesar on the bench. Okay, let's get stuck into Benfica at the Emirates in London. It's going to be a cracker. Our first match playing in the Champions League group stage. Hopefully, we can go on and win the Champions League, but I want to focus on the Premier League, especially for the first season. Uh, we'll, we'll probably focus more in the second season, but we can, if we can win both, I'd be very, very happy. I'm not going to care about the Cups, but guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Players you would like me to sign in January. There's no harm in uh, letting me know your suggestions. We've signed Fabregas. We've signed Martial. We've also signed Inept. We probably should bring in some more defensive players, but once Gabriel Palista and Jenkinson come back from their injury, we'll be laughing. We're going to be securing that up a lot more. But not many chances in this first match against Benfica. Ozil on the ball. The German trying to create a play. Alexis finds Martial. And we're 1-0 up against Benfica. Anthony Martial, the Frenchman. The English press, uh, press said he had no chance. Martial scores again. Makes it 1-0 against Benfica. Like I said, he has the potential to be the next Thierry Henry. He is so, so good. Even like some of his celebrations in real life are a little bit weird to see. Compared, like, he does like some of the sort of same, especially when he first started scoring. There were so many comparisons between him and uh, Thierry Henry. But it's only a little bit of fun. He's been doing very, very well for me, joining this French contingent we have in the squad. So let's have a look at our tactics at the moment. How well have we been going? 11 shots to 4, 3 to 1. So we are dominating them. We're 1 0 up. Should I make some substitutions? No, I'm actually pretty happy to continue on. If I'm being honest, but we're 1-0 up against Benfica. you got to watch out for them. They can come back in. They're bringing on Selvio for Carrillo, and they're bringing on Nelson, their right back. Gibbs has a yellow card. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. We're coming close to the 75th minute. I think it's time to make a substitution now. Let's bring on Oliver Giroud for Lucas. We'll make him the target man. How, how is everyone sort of going? So Gibbs has a yellow I'm going to bring on Cesc Fabregas for Ozil because he is getting a little bit knackered. We'll keep him as the advanced man. Bring on Cesc. Then we've got Inept, Oxide chamberlain and Ramsey. I might bring on Inept for Walcott. I think. Inept can actually play all right on that other side. He is a, lef a left footer, so he can cut in. He's built for the Premier League, even though this is a Champions League match. He should do all right. He hasn't had match. He needs some more match fitness. That's the problem. We bought him up relatively cheaply, roughly around about six million, five million pounds. He's worth nine, twenty-four years of age. I reckon he'll do well. We need to play him a lot more. I think. We have Ox. Um, we have Holding. Ox is twenty-one. Oh, maybe I should bring on Oxide Chamberlain. Hmm. I'll bring on Inept for this match. We could play Ox in the match against uh, Hull. I want to give Inept. A lot more of a run into the squad settings. We did bring him um, over from France. as sort of a, a squad rotational player, but he's back on the ball. Nice chest there. Getting some really nice one-two passes. Off says Fabregas finds Xhaka. Oh, wow. Check out that ball from Alexis Sanchez on the volley. Anthony Martial scores his 10th goal of the season. We're 2-0 up against Benfica, and Inept was very influential in that. What a ball over the top. 
on the left, Sanche uh, <laughs> Sanchez over the top finds Anthony Martial, hits it with his left foot, smacks it. That's a wow, that's a great ball in from the Argentine Selvio. Rafa. Oh, wow, Nelson. Sem Dio, I think that's how you say his last name. What a fucking strike! From outside the area, Peter Check was nowhere. <laughs> he was not going to get to that one. Nelson, you got to give it to him. Hit it. Hit it hard. Oh, no. Matroglu. Get a tackle in, boys. We can't lose this lead. Anthony Martial was playing so well in this match. Come on. Defending starts from the front. Holy shit. Rafa gets a shot on target. But we are 2-1 up against... Benfica. Hector Bellerin finds a nept. Xhaka, Cesc Fabregas, sends home the win. Makes it 3-1 with a sensational strike outside the box. Picked him up for £18 million. He's worth 13 Chelsea didn't want him. They put him up on the transfer list. And now he has converted a great goal. Cesc Fabregas makes it 3-1 against Benfica. Can we get one last attack on here? Even if Benfica do score? No, it's not going to be. A 3-1 victory over Benfica in the Champions League. 26 shots to 9, 9 shots to 3. Good match. Mar Martial, in my opinion, picked up the man of the match. Picked up two goals. Cesc Fabregas sealed the deal with a great shot from outside the area. We managed to receive 1.9 million pounds. Martial in form. 38 million pounds. Is that only how much? 39 million pounds. That's only how much he is worth. So, 28th of September. Let's start skipping ahead to the match against Hull. Hey guys, just before we get stuck into the match against Hull here today, going through my emails, Alexis Sanchez actually picked up the goal of the month, and I just thought I would uh, show it for you guys, because it's a pretty decent goal. We had the match off camera. It's a very decent uh, free kick, so we'll just skip the other ones. I don't really care about them. I just want to show you the Alexis Sanchez goal, because it is very cool, and it won the goal of the month. So Alexis Sanchez outside the box with a free kick past Victor Valdez. Puts it into the top right. What a sensational shot just before the 25th. Makes it 1-0 against Middlesbrough. And uh, let's get stuck into Hull away here today. Hey guys, welcome to match day against Hull. So we have a couple of players actually returning from injury, which is great to see. So we are going to be facing Hull away. They are currently Last in the Premier League, they've lost six consecutive matches. I feel bad for Hull not being prepared for the Premier League, of course, with that whole controversy, controversy at the start in real life. So Chelsea are first, followed by Everton, Manchester United and myself. Manchester City are in 11th, Liverpool are in 14th, Leicester and Middlesbrough are in 18th, 19th, and 20th. Imagine if Leicester get relegated. That would be insane. So Ryan Mason is suspended. Alex Bruce is out. Uh, who else? Three players are doubtful. Okay. Okay, Lucas. When did this happen? Ah, shit. Lucas picked up a two-week injury. I didn't even notice that because I did have to skip a couple of emails to get to the match against Hull. Oh, fuck. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so we're going to play in the 4-4-2. Lucas is out with a two-week injury. Two-week hamstring. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, that sucks. Um, we'll play Giroud instead, make him the target man. I was going to say Gabriel Palista is back. So we're going to be bringing him on for Inept because he played on midweek. And now we're going to have to bring on someone for Lucas. Do I have a proper striker? No, I don't. So let's bring on Mohamed El Nenny. Or should I bring on a Wobi? Or is a Wobi already in? No, I can bring on a Wobi because a Wobi can actually play up top, all right? So Lucas is out for two weeks. Jenkinson will be back soon. Uh, Mertesek is out for two to three more months. I do plan to sell him. And Danny Welbeck's out for two to four. I haven't decided what I want to do for Danny Welbeck. The main concern I have with him is he's injury prone. He is 25 years of age. He's worth 30 million. He's English, so it helps the homegrown, homegrown quota. Um, but... Yeah, I'm just worried about... If he keeps on getting injured, it doesn't matter about how good he is. If he just doesn't play, 
It doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, I am sort of inclined to, to listen to offers, but we'll just have to see. So we're going to go with the 4 4 2. Martial Giroud, lead, Giroud leading the line. Sanchez, Ozil, Xhaka, Walcott, Gibbs, Kashani, Mustafi, Hector Bella. And how is everyone sort of going? Everyone's fighting fit. Let's have a look at the squad. Martial scored 10 goals. He has the highest average. Giroud with the assist. Xhaka, Theo Walcott, and Anthony Martial picking up the man in the match award. So let's give Hull a bit of a, a bit of a battering here today, hopefully. They haven't lost a Premier League match. Let's see who they're playing. Abel Hernandez up front. He might be an alright player where you can maybe poach towards January if it's sort of inevitable if Hull go down. Uh, they've got Livermore, he's good. Snodgrass, I quite like Snodgrass, 29 years of age. Uh, 11 million pounds, he is Scottish through and through. Huddleston, not bad. Uh, Davies, Dawson, El Mohammadi, the Egyptian. Ambukani is a pretty decent striker, 30 years of age. Uh, who else have they got here? Yeah, a couple of good players. Let's face Hull here today. Let's skip the tunnel. It is actually pissing down with rain away against Hull, which is unfortunate. Urzu on the ball, keeps on going, gets tackled, but manages to maintain his high dribbling. Gibbs wins the header. Urzu on the ball, finds Sanchez. Henriksen tackles him, and Hull are trying to push forward here now. Not bad. They're doing some really nice passing here. Is this Manchester City or Hull doing some really nice ticky tacker football? Livermore getting really tracked by... Xhaka, we just need a really good kick in here. Oh my god, are you joking? Abel Hernandez put through here. Hull, you got to give it to them. They did very well doing some nice ticky tacker football here, trying to hold on the hold on with the possession. We should be able to beat them. I would be befuddled if we didn't. But let me know in the comment section down below your predictions for this Football Manager series and players you'd like me to sign in January. It's currently nil-nil. We are losing... Uh, we are we are losing Lucas. Lucas is not in this match. Oh, damn. Okay, how, how do we actually go? We had 10 shots to 2 on target. They had 4 shots to 2. At the moment, I think I want to keep everything as it is. The 4-4-2 is working very well for me. I haven't even really need to use the 5-3-3 because we haven't been really close on a lead. We could very well in this match. The 4-3-3, Jurgen, uh, high, Jurgen Klopp, high pressing. I haven't used that yet because the 4-4-2 has been working so well for me. Sort of a backup. I could even swap that with the Pep Guardiola Tiki Taka football 4-3-3 in the future. Um... Yeah, I think I'm very happy with the squad. If we don't score before the 65th, I'll be probably worried because I usually do my substitutions on the 75th. I could do it a bit earlier this time around. Xhaka on the ball. That's a great ball over the top from Ozil. Giroud keeps going. He gets tackled by Livermore. Okay, we've gotten back possession. Giroud. Ozil. Finds Martial. Doing some nice passing here. Walcott's in the box. Ma oh my god. Alexis Sanchez gets tackled. And it is going to be a penalty from the spot. Martial to score his 11th goal of, yes, the season. He's done it. Anthony Martial came from France. The English press gave him, <laughs> gave him no chance. Said he had no chance. Oh my god. Tony fucking Marshall. <laughs> Anthony Martial scores again. Oh, I'm so happy. The next Terry Henry, I've been banging on about it, but he's just on fire. Oh no, you've got to be joking. Apple Hernandez scores his first goal of the Premier League. First goal of the season as well. Oh, Hector Bellerin smashes it into Mustafi. That was nearly... That was fucking nearly... A handball. Oh, what was that? That was an individual error. That is not because of the squad playing bad. And now he's picked up a yellow, being frustrated. Get your head together, Bellerin. Come on, man. You've got to be doing better than that. It's currently 1-1 against Hull. Um, should I... Oh, Koscielny's picked up a yellow. I think it's time to make some substitutions. My team is getting a little bit agitated about l drawing against Hull. Ah, 
Right, we're going to have to change things up a bit here. Let's bring on Cesc Fabregas because he scored a sensational goal mid midweek. We... Hmm. We could bring on a Wobi. How does a Wobi play up front? Yeah, he's not very good up front. He's not a striker. I'm better off keeping on Giroud. Let's bring on Oxlade Chamberlain for Walcott. We have Gabriel Palista and we have Aaron Ramsey. Um, we can bring on. Oh, no, he's too. He's not. He doesn't have the match sharpness, Palista, just yet. We've either got Rob Holding or Aaron Ramsey. Hmm. Or we could bring on a Wobi for Sanchez. We could actually chuck Sanchez up front. Okay, this might be an interesting tactic. Chuck Sanchez up front as a complete forward, and we'll chuck a Wobi. Yeah, because we'll, then we can drop Giroud. Um, let's do that. Let's make Sanchez the complete forward. Let's bring on a Wobi. Let him play on that inside forward. So, we have... So, I've really just tinkered with the squad a bit here. So, Sanchez is going to be playing up top with Martial. Wobi's going to be coming on. Ozil's coming off for Fabregas. And Walcott's coming off for Oxlade-Chamberlain. Let's keep it like that. Hopefully, this rotation should be able to spice things up and maybe create something. I'm hoping if Assess Fabregas can score an amazing goal like he did against Benfica. That'd be awesome. Uh, there's a counter-attack here for Hull. Come on, Ox. Cut this one out. We just need to get an interception. Then we can counter-attack. One more minute. And then we have extra time. Livermore. Henriksen. Snodgrass. Finds Ambukani. We nearly concede. In the last couple of minutes of the match. <gasps> I thought that was nearly a penalty. Tackle in the box. That's controversial. You're joking. We have another penalty. Xhaka. Holy shit. Picks up a penalty in the 92nd minute. Cesc Fabregas is going to step up. We can claim the three points against Hull here today. Make it seven defeats. Oh, okay. That scared the absolute shit out of me. Marshall, the goalkeeper, not Martial, got a glove to it, but Hull concede two penalties in this match. And it could be another goal here. Ah, oh, the full-time whistle has blown. Hull have seven straight defeats. I feel so bad for them, but we convert two penalties very luckily. I think we well deserve to win this match. 15 shots to their nine. Five on target to their five. Hmm. We didn't do too bad. That was a close one. I think that was very, very close in my opinion. Cesc Fabregas picks up the assist. We picked him up for £18 million. What a signing. And now we've been rocketed to first in the Premier League. Manchester United are still yet to play their match. However, scoring streak. We get a steam achievement. <laughs> cool. Okay, I think that's it for this episode. Looking at the fixtures, what's something to look forward to? We've got Manchester City coming up. Tottenham, Chelsea, Leicester, Man United. We've still got a long way of the season to go. It's currently the 1st of October. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. Stay tuned for more Football Manager on my channel. If you want to see more Football, Man more football Manager, show your support. It's a great way for me to gauge if you actually want to see more Football Manager or f more FIFA 17. Still doing my Manchester United, Real Madrid, and Newcastle United career mode. If you guys want to get cheap and reliable games, some cheap Xbox codes, PlayStation codes, my G2A affiliation link is in the description below. My name has been Simpsy. Stay tuned for more videos on my channel. Goodbye. Take care. Thanks, guys. I really enjoyed this episode. It was a blast. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! <laughs> that is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce. Holy shit.